I spilled the handyman up here in Northern California. How you all doing today? Today we're going to talk about what happens if your timer does not advance on your dryer. So for instance, you turn it on and it just stays on. The pointer stays in the same place all the time. Turn it on, just stays there all the time. What are you going to do? Well, you could buy a new timer. That's what the experts would do. New timer is going to cost you 75 to 150 bucks. And they're actually fairly easy to install, but whether you want to go to that trouble, that's up to you. So the alternative to this, if your timer sticks in place, what you might do, and I've done this before, you could drill a hole here or drill a hole on the side. I uh, found it easier to drill a hole on the side, and I have room over on my side to drill to uh, activate a timer. And I. I have seen generic timers at the hardware store. So basically it's an on-off switch, 110 on-off switch, similar to this knob. You just set the time and uh, it automatically shuts off after a certain amount of time. Those are about 20 bucks at the hardware store. It's just a generic timer, on-off 110 volt timer. Now even if you have an electric dryer or a gas dryer, it's going to be the same scenario. So basically what you're going to do is, now uh, this is uh, for informational purposes only, if you're in doubt, contact a professional. But what I would do is, here's your lid switch, and lid switch is I'm going to talk about lid switches here a little bit too. You should hear the click on your lid switch. If you don't hear the click, the lid switch is shot, basically. And that will be noted by when you open the door, the machine stays on. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, you're going to wire the, the on-off timer from the hardware store that you bought in case you don't want to buy a new timer hardware store timer is about 20 bucks you'd wire the hard, hard the hardware store timer in line with your lid switch your door switch so that basically the timer will always stay in the same place this timer will always stay in the same place but basically if you have a generic timer, you set the timer for 30 minutes or whatever, and that will shut off automatically. So basically, you just leave your timer knob wherever you're going to set it, turn the generic timer on for 30 minutes or whatever you normally set it for, and then in line it in line with this door switch. And so, yeah. That's what you might do if you can't afford a brand new timer. So that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. Your donations help support reuse and recycling worldwide. Thank you very much.